in California, state of sunshine and palm trees, a small group of men are locked in a big legal fight over the money made by us company selling COVID tests to the British government. The founder of Innova Medical Group says his business collected $2 billion, one pound, six billion in profits, one of the largest fortunes banked by any medical supplier during the scramble for life-saving equipment in the early months of the pandemic. In a storm of claims and counterclaims, Innova's boss, Charles Huang, is accused by former associates of squandering or moving $1 billion of those profits, spending lavishly on luxury aircraft, an $18 million house in Los Angeles, and homes for his mistresses. The previously little-known Chinese-American businessman's fortune was transformed by the British taxpayer through 11 government contracts worth approximately £4, three billion for lateral flow tests LFTS made in China, and sold by Innova. The government fast-tracked the company, after its British representatives sent a direct email to Dominic Cummings, the chief advisor to the then Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, in July 2020. And a Guardian investigation has found, the fast-tracking of Innova was supported by the then-Chancellor Rishi Sunak's team at the Treasury. Innova became for a period of at least four critical months the only company authorized to supply rapid COVID tests in the UK, despite scores of others developing similar kits. At the time, the government spending watchdog raised concerns, saying the lack of competition posed risks to value for money. In his evidence to the COVID inquiry last October, Cummings told how he had pushed through the first Innova contract with backing from Sunak's team. The intention was to allow the economy to reopen by providing enough kits for up to 10 million people a day to test for the disease. The mass daily testing plan, labeled Moonshit, was met with skepticism by scientists, including Jonathan Van Tam, the then Deputy Chief Medical Officer, who has told the inquiry that he had real doubts about whether it was workable. The Moonshit plan became part of NHS Test and Trace known as the Mass Testing Program.